We were in a in a motel. We finally out in the middle of nowhere got to this hotel. Like a Super 8 or a Motel 6 or something. One of them old brick joints, just one level. Still had the physical key. Next morning, I go knock on Jeff's door. This was, wasn't too long after we put a bullet in Bin Laden, so we were still kind of, this Again, this ain't racist. It's just what it was. Mr. Akbar was... He was not nice. And I was just trying to do my civic duty as a red, white, and blue, bleeding ass American. I was going to get him back. He's about ready to go. And we're grabbing bags and taking him to the van. We went back and forth a few times, whatever. And I was like, nah, I'm going to get him. We paid cash. He didn't know my name. I didn't know his name. I just knew he was an asshole. And I hear the microwave start. And he was just being an asshole. So I was being an asshole back. Gave him something from the asshole. It is what it is. <laughs> And then Jeff runs out, slams the door. He goes, let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't know. It wasn't premeditated. I just saw it. So I grabbed the ice tray, the ice bucket. I asked him, why are we in such a hurry to leave? He said, because I shit in an ice bucket. And I took a shit in it. And I put it in the microwave. <laughs> put it in the microwave. <laughs> Turned the microwave on high, left out, and we could hear it bubbling when we left. I know they had to clean up. They probably could never rent that room out again. So there's that. 